This is Ahmed. He's escaped the civil war in Syria. He left Turkey because he wasn't allowed to work there. His brother is in Berlin. This is Mariam. She's escaped torture in Eritrea. She's arrived in Italy, but she speaks English, so she wants to get to the UK. EU law says that asylum seekers are the responsibility of the first country they arrive in. This law is known as the Dublin Regulation. But this system has collapsed over the past year. Greece and Italy can't cope with the enormous number of arrivals on their coastline. Many refugees end up destitute in these countries. Ahmed and Mariam want to leave. Greece and Italy don't want them to stay, so they're free to move on. In Italy, Mariam sleeps on the street along with thousands of others. She believes she'll be more likely to get housing, work and support in the UK, so she makes her way through into France and then, after paying people smugglers, across the Channel. Since Angela Merkel welcomed refugees into Germany, Ahmed is allowed to travel through Austria to reach Berlin and his brother. But fences are going up across borders. Refugees want to go where they can find jobs, support and community, so Germany and Sweden are hosting most of the Syrian refugees. But now they say other countries must share the responsibility, and as they begin to tighten their borders, other countries are following them. Europe's famous border-free Schengen zone is starting to shut down. There's even talk of closing Greece off to protect the border-free area. The EU Commission wants a new system, allocating refugees around Europe. The UK isn't alone in opposing a sharing system. And in accordance with the Dublin regulation, the UK has sent Marion back to Italy, where she first arrived. Ahmed is one of the lucky ones. He's with his brother. A million more people are expected to arrive this year. They may find their final destination is not the one they had in mind.